let's just can we talk for a minute mm. I want to know your name what's up y'all it's your girl Brittany D welcome back to my channel I'm super excited to come back to you with another video I decided to document my day today and specifically today I'm getting ready to go on a getaway to the getaway house literally if you don't know getaway they are an amazing cabin glamping camping kind of experience in the woods and they're all over the northeast and i think some in the midwest but i'm in new york and i'm headed to the one in connecticut in a little bit i needed a break i need a midweek break i need to get away from the city i just need to come back in tune with nature it's giving pouring back into me week Mm -hmm. And I already started and set the tone by going to the spa last night. Today I am deep conditioning, I'm getting ready to head out and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be packing for this glamping experience. <laughs> I get it get it the girls I don't don't I just finished washing my hair I got all of the conditioner out and I put in that lovely gel that we love and coiled them babies up so all I have to do I'm pretty much packed uh, I have to make a stop at Whole Foods we're gonna get what we need to get but I'm excited getaway house here we come We've tried writing letters to our representatives. That's a big reason we aren't winning the game that men have successfully played for years. All right, y'all, I made it. I made it to Getaway House. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. This is the cabin. It is super duper cute and cozy. So far, I'm so impressed how everything is just so compact. It's giving like bus home. It's giving tiny container home, you know. For some reason, I love those. And it's weird because I live in a small New York City studio. And yet, when I travel, I still find myself in more studios. Like, I don't... I don't know what it is about confined spaces for me. So oh, happy they gave you marshmallow roasting sticks. <laughs> Look how cute this is. <laughs> Tonight, I'm making myself a beautiful salmon dinner because tomorrow, what the fuck was that? <laughs> it sounded like someone said, this is gonna be interesting being out here by myself. And it sounds so nice. Yo, this salmon is banging. The last time I went on a trip, my last trip was Turks and Caicos in July. It is now November. I think I travel every three to six months, just about. I feel like traveling doesn't have to be this grandioso, like trip of a lifetime every single time. You could create something small. That is definitely my goal. I desire and affirm that I will be able to take like weekend getaways every single month. I'm listening to this podcast. I showed it to y'all on the way here. There was a part in there that Rachel Rogers said, what would you do if you were given the opportunity to be a bad girl? It's basically the same question as to what would you do if you didn't have to follow any rules? My answer, I thought about it and I was like, if I had the luxury of doing whatever I wanted, I would get the fuck up and go wherever whenever with all of the means and resources that i have i would drop everything hire a cat sitter for my cat and i would go study dance and it's something that i would just love to do so who knows i may or may not become a professional dancer that like tours the world it just might be for me you know Looking forward to another day tomorrow. Good 
morning, y'all. It is it is a beautiful rainy morning in the outdoors. <sighs> God, this is so relaxing. So today is day two of my cabin stay. Unfortunately, it's raining. Not unfortunately, I give thanks for the rain because we love all the seasons, all the weather. I am going hiking. I'm dressed to go hiking. I have my hiking boots and everything and I'm gonna go explore the trail. That's what I, I like about this place is that it gives you things to do. I'm gonna explore the trail. Today is my fasting day, so I'm just gonna start with some fruit, coconut water, regular water teas for the rest of the day, and then I have some broth for later when I get hungry tonight. I used to fast often or like do a lot of detoxes. I learned how keeping your stomach warm really helps with soothing your hunger when you are fasting. So like warm teas, warm broth. The cabin also does not have any Wi-Fi. It's really a tune out situation right now. I'm really glad I chose this instead of trying to flee to warm beachy weather. Super excited and nervous because tonight I'm gonna take my shroomies. I'm out here by myself, but I feel safe. Like I always tell y'all wherever you go, I was just telling someone how when I travel places, um, I like to imagine that I am home. Like this vessel, this body is home wherever I go. So I never truly feel out of place because I will always find a way to make myself at home and also honoring the fact that I'm in a different environment and that I can explore and immerse myself in that environment. But at any time I can take myself out and ground and nourish myself with what home feels like to me. I think that's very important for life, like anywhere you go, you know, you can't always have this expectation that a person, place, or thing is gonna make you feel safe and grounded. Like you have to practice and master the aspect of grounding yourself no matter where and what situations you're in. So, I'm about to say. I swear, when you by yourself, you feel like you seeing shit sometimes. <laughs> you think you hear stuff. I'm looking at the glare on the screen door and I'm just like, who the fuck is inside? Like. I should have brought my freaking gloves, man. I'm cold. It's the only thing that's exposed right now. It's so nice, man. So, so nice. Listen, get away, sponsor me. But if you're not gonna sponsor me, I'm still going to promote y'all because I plan to share this, my link, my invitation link with all my friends. Um, everyone needs to come here. And I know that they're having a little discount for December. So yeah, everyone needs to come here. It is the most beautiful, modern camping experience you feel like you're in tune with nature but you also have all your amenities and everything is so aesthetically pleasing it really does put you at ease i am over the moon impressed um please invite me back i'm a frequent flyer and a serial solo travelist i will be back <laughs> found appreciation for nature in the cold you think that you can only enjoy these things when it's warm you really have to appreciate life in all its seasons if we're not respecting our personal seasons how can we have that same if we can't have that outlook on life we can't have that outlook on ourselves how beautiful change can be
What's up, y'all? I just chugged my beautiful mushroom cocoa, hot cocoa blend that I made. I finally got the fire pit to be nice and strong. It's not as it's not as warm as I would like for it to be, but I'm bundled. I have my my favorite blanket right now, and it's crazy how I'm like here by myself and I'm looking at the sky, I'm looking at the, s the trees. I'm definitely starting to feel a little zen. I wish I could document my entire like high, but unfortunately my camera doesn't have enough space. This will be a journey and I am excited to be here. I feel really, really great. An amazing shroom trip last night. I couldn't record the whole thing. Every time is different and depending on the dosage. I remember last time I did it with my friend, I just kept laughing uncontrollably, crying uncontrollably. It was just a release. But this time, there was no release, not to my knowledge, but it was more of a connection to divine, higher source, to my ancestors. Definitely had a lot of spirit guides make themselves uh, present last night able to see so many things I can't even put it to words I put the fire out and headed in and just stayed cozy super warm inside my cabin the minute I got too hot and went outside was when the stars were the most visible like the sky was dancing filled with stars and I just came back in and just had so many like revelations um, but mostly it was just a reminder and it's been a reminder for me for a couple of weeks now that I need to in order for me to transform and shift and step into my power within the next few months I need to tap into my ancestors and know that I'm guided and protected I'd like to give myself grace if I didn't do you know the full commitment it's always a stepping stone to do it next time. You have to honor yourself to continue to take big steps and risk time after time in order for it to be a successful shift. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get ready. I packed everything already so that all I have to do is just shower, get dressed, eat my fruit, and be on this beautiful drive back home. <sighs> breathing in gratitude, breathing in refreshment. It's never just a getaway, it's a frequency changer to make you want more out of life remind yourself that it is more than just a vacation it's a lifestyle and the more that you can incorporate that the less you want to run away and get away to run away from your problems because you are finding new ways to find peace within yourself you're finding new ways to practice mindfulness within yourself and you can create that safe space in your mind and your heart wherever you are and of course like take trips to shift your frequency but I think that's the biggest takeaway for every single trip that you take.